with Chris Sorensen from the Companion Custom Banjo Shop. Thanks for tuning into this video today. I'd like to take the opportunity today to discuss an option on banjo setup that we offer in our shop that cuts down about three pounds on the banjo weight. It's a common option for people who want a lighter weight banjo that still offers that volume and dynamic tone that a resonator banjo with a typical brass tone ring can give you. And that option is a banjo with a wooden tone ring, meaning the rim and the wooden tone ring are all turned into one piece and integrated together. First I'd like to say this video isn't intended to persuade you to purchase any certain type of banjo. It's not to lead you in the direction of buying a wooden tone ring banjo or lead you in the direction of buying a, a banjo with a brass metal tone ring. It's just simply designed to give you some ideas of what are out there, some setup options, and ways to maintain your banjo, especially if you choose to go with a wood tone ring banjo to get that best range of tone out of it and best sound. I would call this your standard rim and tone ring design used by many five string builders who build resonator banjos. And the design option here is you have a typically a three ply rim or a block rim style and it's turned by the luthier so the rim and the tone ring fit together with a slip fit or any type of fit that you desire. Some people like the fit a little tighter some people like it a loose fit so you can turn it over and shake it off. That option is up to you. But this would be considered a metal tone ring and a wood rim design. So what we have here is a banjo pot that features an integrated wood rim and tone ring design. This particular one is made out of block maple. So what we've done is we've constructed this pot or this rim out of all block maple, put it on a lathe and turned the taper onto the top that the head and the tension hoop fit down on. That creates your wood tone ring and rim design. It's well known that the tone ring itself isn't the only thing responsible for the quality of sound of a banjo, it's a dynamic range and ability. There are many features that go into the design of a banjo that can affect its quality. For example, you may spend upwards of $1,000 on a metal tone ring, and if you have a poor setup or a poor quality neck or a bad setup and a bad fitting tone ring, you can have a very poor sound. So I'm a big fan of saying that it's the sum of all the parts that make up the sound. So for example, head tension plays a big role in that. The position of your bridge or the quality of the material. The tension or the angle in your tailpiece. The quality of the wood in the neck. The fretboard, the tuners. Many things make up the sound of a banjo. It's just not all the tone ring. So you can still get a very good sounding instrument without having a metal tone ring. The banjo that I'm featuring in this particular demonstration video does in fact have a wooden tone ring. This was a custom design for a bluegrass picker in Florida. He wanted a banjo that was a little bit lighter weight, so in fact having a wooden tone ring in this cuts off about three pounds compared to a standard banjo with a brass tone ring. We get a lot of people calling us and emailing us at the shop asking questions about banjo setup, especially the ones that feature a wooden tone ring. And some of the common questions that I get are, do these banjos lack volume? Do they lack power? Is their range non-dynamic? And the answer to all those questions I would say is no. I think these banjos can be very dynamic and have a lot of power and sustain and great clarity. So a lot of people ask, what is the sound quality that you'll get out of this? What is the tone like? Well, I think that's a very subjective question and I think the best thing that you can do is get your hands on one of these, whether it be at our shop or at a music store, and play it. But if I were to offer some suggestions on the tone, I would call a banjo with a wooden tone ring more of an open sound. Um, it's hard to describe exactly without hearing it, but some people say it sounds clunkier or it sounds like it has a woody tone to it. Well, I think all those are true, but one sound to another person may sound completely different or you may describe it completely different. So I think the best thing to do would be to demo the sound to you and compare it to another high quality banjo that is known to set up to a very high standard. So what I'd like to do in this clip is play you a few licks here on this banjo with the wooden tone ring and then in the next one we'll jump to a banjo that has a metal tone ring and we can compare some of the sounds on the lower register of the instrument. So this is another banjo of a high quality made by another builder out there. This is one of my personal banjos. I did not build this one, 
but I purchased this a number of years ago. So I'd like to do a demonstration on this one. We're back now to the banjo with the wooden tone ring. And I'd like to play something a little bit higher up the neck so you can get an idea of the range in the upper registers. A common G lick that we all know. I'd like to do the same set of licks now on the banjo that has the metal tone ring. to discuss on the wooden tone ring banjo are some of the setup options. I feel to get the best tone out of these banjos and to get a good snap, what I would call it, and good power, is it's very critical to keep the head tight. I recommend keeping it up to about a G sharp note or roughly a 90 if you're using a drum dial. Use a good quality bridge. I like maple bridges with ebony tops and to get more of a snappy or a brighter sound out of it, I like to use a bridge that is a little bit thinner. That's just personal preference. I also like to use a good quality tailpiece, good quality tension hoops, and have a good amount of tension on the tailpiece pulling it down on the bridge. Those will all help you get brighter tones. Well now you've had the opportunity to compare sound clips from a banjo like this one with a wooden tone ring to that of a banjo with a metal tone ring. And you can hear there are some differences. But I'd like to close in saying that these banjos are capable of producing a lot of power and a lot of range and sustain. But again, it's important that you have a good quality setup, whether you're choosing any instrument, a banjo with a wooden tone ring, a banjo with a metal tone ring, or an open back banjo. Setup really is key into getting the tone that you want. If you'd like to connect with us, find us on Facebook or visit our website at companionbanjos.com where you'll find updates and photos of some of our latest builds and other related topics. We're happy to talk with you at any time via phone call or email. Just send us a message. Thank you.